Why, hi there, and welcome to Mower Mike's Kitchen. Yes, we are not in Mower Mike's Garage today. We have moved inside. And what are we going to do today? Today, we are going to compare ways to wash your ball caps. This is something I have always wanted to do, but being a man, I have been too lazy to actually wash my caps. My wife saw my nasty caps, and she's like, Mike, I'm going to get you a contraption here. We got it, the Ball Cap Buddy. This is off Amazon. It's like 17 bucks. I got two of these suckers, and we're going to test them out. Now, the idea is you snap your cap in here, and it holds the uh, structure of the hat while you either put it in the dishwasher or the washing machine. Now, I've always wanted to try doing this, so we're going to try doing it because I have got, obviously, several nasty, nasty hats. Now, I know a lot of you guys are upset. More might. You've done a video in over a month, and you're coming here to do a hat video in your freaking kitchen? Well, yeah, and there's several, several important reasons why. First of all, it's like 136 degrees out there in Texas, and it's just freaking hot. Second of all, Mar Mike's bald. I'm, I'm bald as a, a cue ball, and I need a lot of protection on here, and I'm on the internet, so we got to have some good-looking hats. I can't just have one shiny John Deere green hat that I keep freaking new for the camera and then have a bunch of nasty old hats for the other shots. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean up these hats. Now, these are all high-quality hats, and what makes a high-quality hat is that they have to stand for something. Like here, we got some South Texas hunting ranch. We got Ducks Unlimited. Anything for uh, ducks is good with me. Of course, you got the Astros, old Nolan Ryan, Houston Astros. And we got Smoking Windmill Barbecue. These are all nasty, well used hats. And our first step is that we're going to strap them into our hat, ball cap buddy. Now, to do the ball cap buddy, I know it's very simple, but it's got a little snap on the back here. You don't go from the front, go from the back. And uh, obviously I can't quite figure it out. Come on, you just push it up. All right, so we got them open. Now, you'll notice here, I got two ball cap buddies, but I got four hats because what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a couple controls, hypothesis, hypotenuse. So we're gonna put two of these in the ball cap buddies and then we're just gonna free ball the other two and just throw them in there and see what happens. You know, I don't know if the ball cap buddy is worth a dang or not. So, for example, this one, we're going to put the Ducks Unlimited in the ball cap, buddy, because, you know, I'm a little partial to this hat. This is uh, possibly my favorite hat. Let's see. You just put it in there, and it just snaps on the back. It's got this little snapper -ruski. There you go. I mean, you can't, you can't do anything easier than that. And then which of the other ones am I going to put in ball cap, buddy? Smoking windmill. We're going to throw the smoking windmill hat in the ball cap, buddy. There you go. And, guys, you don't need me to show you how to do this. But it's pretty simple. Snap her in there, and there we go. So, it looks like, and what's cool is that these things are pretty big, because I got a big old noggin. I have to go to the last two snaps on all my hats to fit all my uh, brain matter up there. So, all right, we got two set up, and now we're gonna go over to the clothes wash machine and throw a couple in there, so stay with me. All right, gang, we have moved into Mower Mike's laundry room. And what we got here, we've got an awesome washer and dryer setup. This thing's got the smart drum with the hydro seal, the easy jet, the jet spray, the direct drive inverter, sensor drive. <laughs> they got stickers all over these things. But what it is, is it's an LG, LG wash machine uh, without the agitator. It uses a barrel and it wiggles it around. Now, I was reading the warning label on the Hat Buddy. First thing you gotta realize, if you're going to use the, the washing machine, the clothes washer, you can't use one that's got the agitator, which is the big thing that spins in the middle because that will destroy your fancy hat. So if you have an agitator washing machine, just go ahead and skip straight to the dishwasher method because you should be all right there. The second thing is, they say do not use uh, anything with lemon. If anybody's using lemon to wash their clothes, don't do that. We're in luck because my wife has got some weird I don't know, some sort of hippie washing machine, washing stuff that actually comes in these sheets. And it, uh, I don't know, it's just weird. So, we're going to go ahead and toss these guys in here. Also, it says do not do it with a full load of laundry and do it on a gentle cycle. I think that's pretty self observant. I think that's going to be pretty loud. A um, little worried about my hunting hat, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. So, all right, power on, cycle. 
Cotton, Heavy Duty, Brian Wise, Bulky Vetting, Pure Color. We'll go Delicates. And we'll do Warm. These things are pretty dirty. Alright, well, I'm excited. Alright, so let's move on to the dishwasher. Huh. Oh, uh, oh. oh, shoot. Sorry. Didn't realize the camera was on. I was actually just reading the, uh, the manual on how to operate this here dishwasher because as most of you know, being a man, I put stuff in the dishwasher, but I've never actually turned it on or unloaded it. So there are a few tricks. All right, so we're gonna load this dishwasher and get her started. Now, what they say is of course, normal to light duty uh, dishwashing. So, and do it on the upper, upper rack. So we're gonna put the hat buddy up here, upper rack. Uh, put the free ball in your hat here. <laughs> Just throw it in right there next to it. And we're gonna shut it. And again, do not use lemons as you wash your hats. Now, I was joking about this, and then I actually grabbed what the wife has been using, and she has been, no kidding, been using lemons to wash our dishes. So, don't use this stuff. That's just like pure lemons from, I don't know where it's from. So what we got here, we got, you know, the good old American made Cascade. I'm pretty sure they make it down there in Houston. And we're just gonna load her up and let it rip. Now, there is nothing in here about not putting it through a heat dry cycle. So I'm just gonna let it rip the whole way. Apparently you push this button once, slam her home. There we go. And again, so in exactly two hours and 42 minutes, we're gonna pull this sucker out and see what happens. I'm a little worried, but I'm excited. So stick with me and let's see how this turns out. Ding! The dishes are done. Let's see what's going on in here. Three hours later of us uh, <laughs> fancy GE dishwasher cleaning hats. Hot dang. All right, oh, they're still in there. Hey, these hats are looking pretty dang sharp, actually. Pull them out. Look at that, the old Astros hat. These hats are very, uh, very wet still, I'll notice. Uh, but. Hey, hats are in good shape. So let's go check out the uh, the big dish <laughs> the washing machine. How's that look on you? Oh, she doesn't like it. All right, stay with me. All right, let's look in the uh, the big boy here, the LG Power Super Washer. Well, all right. Well, yeah, as you can see, it's a little more violent in the uh, the clothes wash machine, but uh, it came out in one piece. Let's see. Well, <laughs> looks like this one here got a little beat up. Now, both of these, well, all four hats are still very, very wet. So I'm going to throw them outside in this 147 degree temperature and uh, let them bake for a little bit, let them dry out, and then we'll come back and look at uh, the results of this hat wash off. All right, so we're here for the final results. I am pumped. I put on a new Bass Pro Shop hat. And what do we got here? Well, these two here, of course, went in the clothes washing machine. Now, let's take a closer look here at my Ducks Unlimited hat. Look at that. It is cleaner, but there's still some dirt stains on it. I'd say it did not come that clean. And then when you look at the San Patricio Cargadores, you know, it too is still kind of dirty and it's flatter. It definitely uh, lost the head of the hat, as you can see. So I gotta say the washing machine is not the way to go. I actually thought it would get it cleaner than the dishwasher, but apparently not. So let's go to the dishwasher. Get these guys out of the way. Now this here is the Astros hat out of the dishwasher, which I did not use the hat buddy on. As you can see, it lost its top a little bit. It got a little floppy, a little floppy there. So, but it is much cleaner. I mean, the, the cleanliness of this hat is pretty nice. Now, when you talk about the dishwasher, smoke and windmill hat was a disaster when I put it in there. It, it cleaned up really, really nice. And it's still, has its full form. So ladies and gents, I say we got a winner on our hands. It would be the dishwasher with the hat buddy. You know, that's something I heard about in the 80s and it still works. <laughs> that looks ridiculous on me. So with that, I swear we're gonna get back to more lawnmowers soon. I actually have been doing some work here on my hydro gear transmission film right here in the kitchen. Yes, we have moved inside the kitchen. My wife never watches these films, so I'm not really worried about it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get to work uh, taking this rig apart. And so stick with me, <laughs> we'll have some more fun. Mar Mike out, bye.